Hey guys, we thought we'd try something a little bit different, but just so you know, we have kept our two meters distance while we filmed this, so we are following our guidelines. But we thought we'd just do some leaders chat, so I'm just going to chat with Beth about a few things. We're going to start with her favorite Bible verse, and we'll just see where it goes, and um, to see you guys get to know us and a bit more about us. Mm. So Beth, what is your favorite Bible verse? So my favorite Bible verse that I've held on to for like my whole life is it's in Philippians 4 verse 13 and it is I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength so ironically and from a video we've done before it really relates to what I've gone through in my life and um, my own situations um, and the thing I like about this Bible verse is that it reminds us that it's not about relying on our own strength but on Christ's strength and throughout my life different things that God's called me into that actually in the natural it, it it's been difficult but I've overcome them um, and and every time I go to that verse I remember this we can't limit ourselves there's like nothing that we can't do without without God like there's so many things that he's gonna um, give us the strength to do and that in the in the natural it's crazy because it's like we there's so much of our identity that we 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 don't always realise the the amazing ability, the amazing gifts he's given us and the amazing things he's going to grow in us. And actually, if we limit ourselves, we're, we're never going to see the um, outcome of the amazing thing he's going to do in our life. So actually, my, my thought is that at, when you use that verse, really believe what it's saying and really remember that, yeah, if God's called you to do something, there's nothing that um, you can't do because he'll give you the strength to do it. Yeah, and I think one of the things I've seen God give you the strength to do is your spoken words that are really powerful. So, how do you do those? Like, how do you write your spoken uh, words? Yeah, okay. So, I'm just, I'll share a little bit of a testimony. Um, because it wasn't something that I ever thought I was going to do. It wasn't like a gift that I had always noticed or tuned into. Um ironically so how it came about is my first spoken word happened in a time where i was in a very difficult place a couple of years ago um where everything in my life seemed to be just very difficult struggling with like fear and anxiety and health and fatigue and and my living environment wasn't the best and it was in that in that time there was one particular night where i sometimes if you've gone through something so emotional it feels like physical pain I don't know if that if, if that makes sense sometimes you you're so consumed and overworked overwhelmed by your emotions and what's going on that you feel physically in pain and you don't know how to escape your problems and it was in that time where actually God birthed this whole thing of spoken word in me um, and it, it literally I'll just say it how it was it literally got to the point where I said I was like God I've got a, I've had enough help me literally just help me and it was in that moment i surrendered to him that i heard this still small voice be like write it down just write and i never realized that actually god was trying to show me there's a way there's a way he speaks to us and there's a way we can um overcome our thoughts and feelings and actually writing it all out is a really powerful way of like combating that because it then it just gets it out your head and i just found myself writing but I just knew it was God's spirit writing through me because the next thing you know I'm writing all this stuff and some of it is beginning to rhyme and some of it it's it's turning into kind of like this poem this you know I, the way I've, I've expressed it is a bit like a poem um, and it's I've not shared it yet actually ever but it's the very first one I'd ever wrote and it was called persevere through the pain and it, ironically it's amazing because God used the pain I was going through for the good he showed me that I can have a creative gift to actually express how I feel but also to help others to be like wow like God's taken something that looks so dark and so ugly and he's he's turned it on its head and he's used it for his glory um, so it really stemmed from my emotions really how I was feeling just getting out onto paper but I guess the difference was I could I, I knew he was giving me 
the, also give me the words to say because I I wrote it just in a couple of minutes. I was like, boom, 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 what has just happened? I never would have thought about this. And he turned it into the spoken word and I just did more and more since then, really. That's so cool. <laughs> and I think your spoken words are amazing. Like the power that they have and like the way you just, you present them as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome.